So, without further ado, please can I invite the candidates for Vice President Education 2018 to take their seats on stage. The candidate order for this category is as follows. In terms of your speeches, Justin, Ash, Alessandro, Nyanat, Madeline, Mac, and Katie. So please can I invite the first candidate to give their two minute speech. Can Justin please come to the lectern. of this academic institution, we exercise our fundamental human rights to be educated. We arm ourselves with tools and skills to navigate the world. According to Will Durant, um, education is a progressive discovery of our, ignorant, of our own ignorance. We are here, therefore, on, on a discovery. Nonetheless, we need an environment that considers our academic well-being to be of paramount importance. And here comes the big question, what can I offer? Almost everyone wants to be your voice, but that is not what I've got to offer, because you have a voice already. What I offer is a medium to break down barriers in our, in our, academic, in our education system, a medium that aims to deliver a dynamic, interactive, and inclusive first-class education that you deserve, a medium to implement better and explicit feedback on submissions, quizzes, and exams. A medium that requires every student to be treated equally, especially in academic matters. A medium that stands against the increase of intuition of tuition fees, especially on grants of on the grants of TEF. A medium to channel your academic concerns through an effective course representative system. A medium that will provide an exhibition platform to showcase your academic talents. Justin is that meeting. And like I said earlier, you have a voice that is very loud and clear. Why not start now to make your voices heard? Because your voice, because your vote is your voice, and your voice is your choice. Vote Justin your, as your number one choice for VP education. Thank you. is to teach one in, to think intensively and to think critically. Intelligence plus character is the goal of true education. Hi everyone, my name is Ash White and I'm currently a foundation student studying psychology counseling and therapies. And I would love to be your vice president of education because I am an adept public speaker that is not afraid to say what others will not say. I have spoken on empowerment at workshops and conferences around the country, sharing my life experiences and how I have overcome. I've been in leadership roles, champion academic representation throughout my education since the age of about 10 or 11, because I believe in the power of the student voice. I've spoken to governors and MPs in times past, and I believe that my previous experiences of being prefect, councillor, vice chairperson of the council, deputy head girl, learning leader, have helped fortify my character for such a time as this. I'm currently an academic rep for the School of Psychology at the at foundation degree level, and I take the student voice and the academic interests of my cohorts seriously. My focus has been to inspire the students to value and prioritize their education irrespective of what life throws their way. To do this, I recently liaised with the course coordinators in both psychology and applied social studies to allow me to bring in a motivational speaker to share how we graduated with a 2-1 whilst battling cancer for the second time at 22. Some of the students said it was the best lecture they have had to the point where some were even moved to tears. A week ago, I was shown on BBC News sharing my view on the issue with university tuition fees in response to Theresa May's speech. Due to the UK having one of the most expensive tuition fees in the world, I think we're like fifth, I believe we should get more out of university than just a degree. University should be an environment where students develop transferable skills they can apply in the, work, in the workplace and in their daily lives. 
Um, issues such as the TEF learning gains and employability skills are very close to my heart. the next candidate can I just um, give all candidates a little um, advice if you could just walk around this side of the lectern and come up that would be fantastic so that we can avoid any more little slips so apologies Alessandro hello everyone as a curious second year business studies international student I believe I developed the qualities of a good leader Humbleness, the courage to take risks, and being a good listener. Uh, to quote a famous political leader, young people must take it upon themselves to ensure that they receive the highest education possible so they can represent us well in the future as future leaders. This is the reason why I'm running for Vice President of Education. I understand that change starts between each one of us and that I must act upon. I want to represent you and protect your right to high quality education. My main interest is to raise awareness of your student rights from my own experience or by talking to other students. I notice that our rights are being violated and we aren't even aware of it. Do you know that you have the full right to fill in a complaint if you feel like you haven't been properly marked? Now more than ever, with all the Brexit procedures going on, times are harsh and insecure for many of you, including myself. Therefore, I will fight to raise awareness of all the major changes regarding your student status and your student rights, so you will feel in control of your rights and education. Second, you certainly have faced the struggles of striving to complete an assessment or to study for an exam when you have two exams and three assessments in one week. Whether you are a single parent, you have a disability, or simply have to work because of financial issues, this suggests that a scheduling algorithm is broken. By installing the exam reform, I want to make sure that the system will not allow more than one exam and one assignment per week so that we all get the equal right to fully benefit from our, our education, no matter our personal life circumstances. Now, out of the lack of communication between students and lecturers and consider how flawed the system is. The chance to help you sense the standards of the best quality for your education inspires me to find solutions and to fulfill my urge to implement them. Being lucky enough to live in these times when education is not a privilege anymore and when we have the opportunity to access so much information means that we have the moral responsibility to make the best out of it. Thank you.
to participate in academic representation and opportunities to partake in extracurricular activities like employability units, which I don't think anyone actually even knows about, so we need to promote that. And secondly, I think the university actually has a duty to educate the community at university on social issues like sexual harassment, consent and domestic violence. One in five women aged 16 to 59 have experienced sexual violence and 12,000 men per year are raped every year in England and Wales. This needs to change and I think we can start it here. We go to university to try and improve ourselves as people, but why not try and improve the world as we go along? Thank you. Can I invite Mac to the stage, please? Hi, everyone. Um, the last time I had a mic like this, I took like a minute and eight miles, so bear with me. Uh, my name is Mac, I should call Mac and Day, and I'm a second year student of media public relations. Uh, my slogan in life has always been similar issues to very mitigated circumstances. And we all are linked to more we are dialogue. We share similar experiences and problems, but we might all go about finding solutions in a different way. Two plus three is four, two times three is four, still simple maths, still the same thing. We all are here, and we are here to get a degree, and not just any degree, but a degree which, which we can go home to our parents, and we are here to tell the high and say, Mom, Dad, I got, I got first class, so I got 2-1. But to get this great degree, we need the best education and teaching experience this university can offer. Don't forget you're paying £9,000 and with no refund. It's a debt. I'm here to love the university for a great academic, academic experience and learning experience, and then that's to get a degree which we, can, which we deserve. As a leader in most of my working career, education representative, a power leader, and once a leader during Freshers Angels, I have loads of experience and I've also worked with Samaritans, I have great listening skills, and I'm ready to listen to you. I'm here to help you achieve the grade and everything you wish to achieve in terms of your academic learning experience. If I'm elected as VP Education, what you'll be getting is a committed, passionate person in office, and not just a yes man. I will be challenging university, and also you'll be getting someone that will, that will challenge university inform, to inform you and update you about the major and minor issues that affect our academic learning experience. Most especially the little small print that the university doesn't let us know. So vote for Mac for VP Education. Can I invite Katie to the stage, please? Eighteen pairs of Rubuton heels, a new car, or an all-inclusive holiday. These are but a small number of things you could buy with £9,000. So that begs the question, what do you want for your money? What do you expect from your course? These, <laughs> excuse me. For four years, I've listened to students, heard their problems and experienced the stress that comes with doing a degree. During that time, I've also worked for our lovely student union, become a power leader, worked in our student's village and been an academic rep. So it's safe to say, I'm all too familiar with our university and its students. This year I decided to run for your VP education, to stand up and actually do something about all the issues I've heard about and experienced during my time here. Year after year I've seen students struggle with timekeeping when it comes to assignments. To tackle this I plan to develop new digital tools to help students come to terms with assignment deadlines, giving them the best opportunity to get the work done to a high standard without the stress of last minute hand-ins. I've also heard students voice their opinions on course costs that they didn't expect, such as books, equipment rental or parking fees. I aim to get these costs published up front by the university to enable students to make a more informed choice and prevent them spending money that, let's face it, we don't have. I want to improve the image of students and the support we get. Not all of us came here straight out of school. We're parents, carers, international and mature students. We are so much more than what people can see as the typical student image. Therefore, the type of academic support we should receive should benefit each and every one of us. If there's one thing I hope will come from these elections, it's that students will feel empowered. We've all been standing up here, speaking our minds, leaving ourselves open to embarrassment and criticism. We're nothing special. We just decided to stand up and make a change. 